creators good morning good morning good morning and welcome to another weekend vlog i'm looking hella crazy right now but that's okay that's okay because later we're gonna get cute but um it is 9 16 in the morning i got mad shit to do so i'm about to head out and y'all coming with me like y'all really don't have a choice <laughs> so <laughs> i got to do i think i'm gonna do my taxes today because i need the points um i gotta get these nails done and i just got mad stuff to do like y'all see just just come along with me i'm gonna pick y'all up when i get in the car and we'll talk more because um we got I, I got some tea yeah i got some tea um and i would like to talk to y'all about that because y'all my friends you know so yeah, um, when we get in the car, we going to gossip. So, yeah, we, we going, we, we got a long day together. So, sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Hey, sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Y'all, I thought the groundhog seen his shadow. Like, it's brick out here. When I tell y'all when I left the house, I was like, frozen it's brick out here oh anyway though while I'm warming my car I was walking out the house and I had looked in the mirror I was like child I cannot walk outside in this bonnet like that is not me I mean shout out to the girls that do it but Y'all see my gray hair? Look. Girl, it's okay because I got a hair appointment. Because my birthday is coming up, so I'm looking a little raggedy. And I'm going to continue to look raggedy until my birthday. I, I guess little Miss Erin was like, she ain't trying to hear that. But um, <laughs> I'm going to continue to look raggedy until my birthday because Pisces season is upon us I am so excited I am turning 35 35 yes yes that is me and shout out to um Wiggins here because this wig right here Chaba we done been through the ringer and she still is holding up. I mean, I ain't really do nothing to her. I just keep her in a bonnet at night. And she's not glued down either. I use the um the even spray. And keep it moving when she get loose. But yeah, I gotta go to the cleaners because I had ordered a birthday dress for my birthday trip yes i didn't mention to y'all i am going on a birthday trip last minute because that's how i am i'm trying to change but um shout out to my friends that are coming and i love y'all i can't wait to celebrate and yeah y'all coming with me i'm not gonna reveal the location just yet um but yeah we're traveling abroad and it's gonna be lit but yeah um anyway i ordered a birthday dress and it's too big because when i tell y'all i'm tainty an extra small don't even fit me so i had ordered the smallest dress and it was so soggy i was like bruh i was panicking so i was like mom like what do i do do i have to find another birthday dress and she was like no just take it to the cleaners to get it altered so yeah, baby, I'm about to, I did that this week. He said it would be ready today. So we're gonna head over there and hopefully my birthday dress is up to par and it's fitted to my slim back, okay? And I'm trying to get thick. I'm, I'm on, I'm on a, a, a thick girl journey. 
because if y'all didn't know I was in ICU all last week like I just literally made it out on time to celebrate my boyfriend's birthday and we went to dinner so to go from ICU to dinner your girl is blessed like but yeah um I'm gonna let y'all know about that but make sure y'all are up to par and y'all keep up with y'all health because I'm thinking I'm young yeah ain't nothing gonna happen to me blah 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 wrong like my body was like bitch what are you doing but i'm gonna go into story time about that but it also has a lot to do with my weight loss surgery as well like other than that like i'm in complete overall beautiful health but my my weight loss surgery yeah yeah i'm starting to feel the long-term effects like I mean, don't get it twisted. If you want weight loss surgery, like I advocate for it because I would never forget the mindset that I was in when I was bigger. I was, but I honestly, like now, seeing how I was back then and now, the physical changes are uncanny. Like, but my mental, like I was happier back then, but we're not going to get into that. But the weight loss surgery, yeah, the long term effects, it's doing a number on your girl. So when, when your doctor tells you, <clears throat> excuse me when your doctor tells you you're gonna be on a supplement for the rest of your life honey you're gonna be on a supplement for the rest of your life and if you are like me and you're not good with taking vitamins and and minerals and 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 having a schedule to take any type of pill this is a warning i'm i'm trying to tell you Keep up with your vitamins if you are to get weight loss surgery. I cannot stress that enough. And I know I'm drinking a Pepsi and I'm not supposed to be drinking carbonated beverages. But also keep... I'm looking at this dog taking a shit on my yard. And I'm waiting to see if the owner is going to pick it up. That's why I keep looking over here. My bad, y'all. Hold on. Okay, he got the baggie out because I was about to say, um, yeah, your dog is taking a shit on my property because I was definitely about to go over there and raise hell. But, um, yeah. So, <laughs> but, um, the dog is cute. But, yeah. Keep up with your vitamin intake, your mineral intake. Work out and drink your water. Okay? And if you can help it, stay away from carbonated water. Carbonated beverages and it's crazy because I love carbonated beverages. I love sparkling water. I love champagne. I love my Pepsi. The doctor said no. <laughs> but anyway, y'all, let me let me get going because I'm playing. But yeah, I'm gonna get into that because a lot of y'all I had posted it on my my Instagram. Follow me on Instagram, by the way. Um, I had posted me being in ICU and me finally, I sent my best friend a picture of me when I was finally able to get up out the bed. Like, and I had posted that picture on on Instagram. So a lot of y'all was asking me like, yeah, 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 what happened? So yeah, story time coming with that. Um, some of my future weight loss girlies, use me as an, as an example, okay? I, I'm, I'm, try, I'm really trying to... Um, yeah keep y'all out the hospital but let go oh, pretty it's my birthday dress thank you thank you so much happy birthday thank you okay cash Thank you. You're welcome. Ooh, I didn't see you. Yes, I I know. I'm trying to get rid of them. Yeah, yeah, good. County didn't make sure it's, it's uh, correct. I believe, I believe Okay, I thank you. Welcome. Have a good one. Thank you. That's all y'all going to see. <laughs> That's all y'all going to see. That's it. <laughs> so yeah, um, I got that done. Y'all, it's cold. Oh, I can't. It is like too cold for me, okay? But um, that's done. I think I wanna go 
drop my taxes oh where am i get it together what's wrong with the resolution on this camera but um i think i want to go do my taxes and i just broke my tripod tragic but um i'm gonna go drop my taxes off and yeah because um i need my coins let go Hi, good morning. I was just calling to see if it was um, possible that I could come drop my taxes off this morning. Absolutely. Okay. Um, it, I guess you weren't planning to stay to have it filed, like maybe you were busy today? Yeah, I have a few things to do. Um, everything's pretty much the same, um, so I, I come to you guys for my taxes. I'm, I'm not a new customer. Gotcha. So. Um, okay, so I'll okay, be... Okay, no, no worries. Is there anything... Um, May I have your name, ma'am? Uh, yes, my name is uh, Shakri. Hey, y'all, anybody else need GPS to get around the town that they've been living in their whole lives? Or is it just me? telling me it's just me and this car in front of me is like legit doing two miles per hour i swear anywhere in jersey nobody knows how to drive nobody it's like they scared they terrified even though i mean it it is aggressive and we have one of the highest car insurance rates in the world Cause honey, I drive a luxury car and there's no way that my insurance should be as high as it is. Because what? Why? But I know why because I literally live a few towns over from the carjacking capital of the world. Shout out to Brick City. But um, yeah. Ah! That's what I get. Have it, ha um, excuse me. Let's go, lady. Shit. Oh, that's what I get. <laughs> I'm back. I'm gonna just, I'm gonna just pick y'all up later. Th this too much. Hey y'all, funniest story. So <laughs> I like a parked across the street from where I had to drop my taxes off. So a car was coming, and of course you start running, right? Guess what I forgot. I forgot to put on a bra, right? So my flapjack's just flapping in the wind, and I'm like, what? Like, what's going on? <laughs> just flapping, just flap, flap, flap. Girl, just, just wait until I get these damn boobs done because the flapjacks are flapping. That's what they was doing. They was clapping. I, I, who was doing a round of applause? Like, oh, nobody. It's just my flapjacks just clapping. I, I just thought I, I thought I had to share that with y'all because I was like, child. That just shows y'all I have so much to do. A bra is the last thing on my mind, child. Anyway, though, I just pulled up to the nail salon. I'm hoping and praying it's not packed. Cause y'all know how I feel about that. Just living in the tri-state area. I've been saying this in my vlogs. It's too congested. I'm about to move to Minnesota. Not even Minnesota, like Alaska. Like not even Alaska cause I hate the cold, but I'm gonna move somewhere where it's not a lot of people when I retire because I can't. But yeah, let me let me get going. Cause um, I need to be in and out. So I gotta, I think after this, let me, let me look at my list. Yeah, I'm old, y'all. I got I gotta write stuff down. That's how I <laughs> And I'm not editing that out either. That's how much I gotta do. It just smacked me in my face. But anyway. <laughs> Damn that hurt. But um I gotta after I get my nails and feet done, I gotta go home. Cause I gotta get cute. I have to take my passport pictures because honey. Remember when I told y'all in the beginning of the vlog that I'm traveling. 
obviously abroad so you need a passport i took my passport out get away from my car get away from my car look at this fucking dumbass like you just can't be rolling up on people like that oh my god anyway like i was saying um oh that just irked me don't be rolling up don't be rolling up on nobody like that and then you mad close yeah i that's what i, I gotta write that down i gotta get tense because um don't be rolling up on nobody like that but anyway um i was looking you know getting my passport and everything out you know because i knew i was traveling while my passport expires next month well we in february the trip is in march so april and then i was like okay it's not it's not expired turns out you need at least six months of validation on your passport in case in case emergencies happen and i'm a frequent traveler i should know these things but anyway so i gotta go go home get cute do my hair do my makeup go to staples and do my passport pictures because yeah I, I gotta get that done and i i'm taking y'all with me because i have an appointment to expedite my passport monday morning and i'm hoping that they print it out and i get it asap because my trip is literally this upcoming friday yeah so that's like less than seven days I don't know y'all I'm just if y'all can tell I'm still irked like don't walk up on nobody car especially because like I'm traumatized from work because like men just they men are just like chatty patties like they just feel like they could talk to you any type of way they could roll up on you any type of way like it's disrespectful but they don't do that to the men drivers. Anyway, I'm rambling. Let me get ready to go. And um, y'all wanna come in the nail salon with me? Yeah, let's go, let's go. Y'all like, I don't know why, but I have like anxiety right now. I've been sitting in my car ever since that guy walked up to me. And a lot of people may not think that that's not serious, but to me it's very serious. Like I already have some type of form of social anxiety it may not seem like it because i am outgoing i am bubbly and everything like that but i tend to like get very shy and big crowds and stuff like that so that's why i love my friends because especially it, it helps when i'm with my friends but when i'm by myself i'll be like that's crazy but i'm just like what the hell i'm looking around i'm all paranoid making sure nobody else walks up on me like if this was Texas baby oh he would have met his maker cause um yeah your girl would have had black beauty right here in her console but Jersey you can't have an open carry um it's not an open carry state but and I feel like it needs to be but we are not gonna talk about politics on this channel but yeah that's just that I don't I don't that's just the male lady. <laughs> I was fine. This is why I need to smoke weed. And I can't. Like, I need something to... <laughs> and calm my nerves. But because of my job, I can't. But, um... I got y'all with me, so... I'm gonna let my anxiety... Woosa. Because, baby... A lot of people may not think that's not serious, but to me <sighs> okay when but to me that's like ridiculous to do especially if you're a man and he was not small like you can't be walking up on people like that that is so weird but anyway i just got to the nail salon let me put y'all down because i don't know if anybody want to get recorded because you know people be acting all weird thinking that you're recording them but baby don't flatter yourself okay because I'm recording myself. All right, wig. I gave you a compliment. Don't be acting all crazy. Hi. Hey, T. 
I do a pedicure. How many you got, T? How many you got in front of you? Okay. Oh, my pedicure lady, is she here? Drop the roof and let the smoke clear. Drop the roof and let the smoke clear. I got down. <laughs> Y'all, how do y'all think I should get my birthday note? I don't know what I should do. I'm thinking I should keep it pink. I don't know. But did y'all see that Risa Tisa 50 part thing on TikTok? Baby. I just run it up before I go. Would you tell the world my secrets if I let them close? Y'all. I ain't gonna tell y'all how I was in a nail salon for almost three hours because, honey, it's my birthday. And on top of that, the prices that they charge, like, I'm not just walking out of there with no type of messed up nails but it wasn't my nails my nails are always chef's kiss it was my pedicure like she had the big toe wall like slanted i'm like girl and i wanted her to say that's your toe i wanted her to tell me that i was born with a deformed toe because girl don't play with me so it took four girls to redo my feet so she was like come back tomorrow no i'm not coming back tomorrow we're doing this today and it's the reason why i came today because i need it done today then she's gonna go when i had complained to the pedicure lady she's gonna tell her boss that i cut my toenail how and where and why would i cut my toenail what i did was i took a foul and i fouled my um what's this my left my left toe because like i said it was on a slant so i'm trying to make it straight as best as i could so she gonna sit up there and lie and tell her boss that i cut my my toenail i'm like girl so i had confronted her i'm like did you tell the girl that i cut my toenail she was like yeah um the lady said that um because she's spanish so i guess they 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 english wasn't really all that so she was like yeah she said that you cut you cut your toenail with the clipper i said no that's a lie and then i'm like you shouldn't be telling lies either because she told the boss Anyway, girl, don't sit up there and lie on me. Don't sit up there and lie on me. Like, what y'all not gonna do is lie on me and tell me that I cut my toenail. So anyway, somebody else did it. Four girls total had to do my toes, but I'm up out of there because I'm satisfied with my feet. Like, girl, like, this is my birthday. I gotta, I gotta look perfect. It's perfect as can be. I'm not about to be on my trip with no slanted ass toenail. Like, stop trying to play with me. Anyway, I just picked up a gift for my niece um, for her birthday. 
and Eddie was so nice when I had um because I had I, I seen a business it's like a customizable business so I was driving and I wrote you know how you driving and you just write the number down so um you know I'll, I'll let them know what I needed I needed some custom socks for her and y'all make sure y'all check him out it's called planet hip-hop 111 what well, it's 1156 clinton avenue in irvington this is the car here can y'all see that it's probably backwards but that's the car and i'm giving him free promo so yeah he does custom tumblers mugs keychains socks pin buttons license plates pillows socks face masks anything that you want customized he got you his name is eddie make sure y'all check him out let me give y'all a look at the nails honey yeah 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 and then it was my birthday so she threw in these little rhinestones for me for free because you know this is about 10 to 15 dollars depending on where you go so yeah I, I love my nails my nails is always chef's kiss shout out to t um so i'm about to run up in here and see if i could find i'm, I'm at what is this rainbow slash value zone i don't know so i gotta run up in here y'all y'all wanna come with me i'm gonna talk to y'all in a minute come with me Y'all, I'm not gonna keep telling y'all how it is too cold. So, yeah, but I was trying to tell y'all in the nose line because I couldn't really talk because they was playing music and I'm not trying to get copyrighted. Did y'all watch that uh, 50 part Risa Tisa thing? Girl. That was just tragic. Tragic when I tell y'all and it was sad. Like she made 50 parts, 50 of how this man that scammed her. That's crazy. So I'm in this store. If y'all notice, they don't make extremely high hills anymore. They, I, I need a hill cause I struts, period. They don't make extremely high hills anymore. What I do need, I do need some sandals for my trip. So I think I'm gonna pick these up if I could find my side. Cause y'all know I got big alligator feet. <laughs> let me, let me concentrate. I'm gonna pick y'all back up later. Yeah, I was gonna bring y'all inside, but um, I don't know, it was mad awkward, but I got a whole bunch of stuff from Rainbow. Hey, Rainbow, you want you want to sponsor me? Cause I shop here all the time, and I got some really cute stuff. Um, so I will be doing outfit checks when I go on vacation. I, I'll be so close to telling y'all where I'ma go. But um, yeah, it was so awkward. Plus, like most places, they um they play music. So, and I really don't want to get copyrighted because I'm trying to get paid. So, um, it's kind of hard to vlog. So, I know y'all like, girl, why is you vlogging on your car, girl? Vlog, vlog, vlog. We want to come with you. But most of these places, they play videos. But I stopped and got me a smoothie. Mm-hmm. I got to get my greens in. This is avocado, kale, um, spinach, passion fruit and one other thing i forgot that she said but it's really good mm, mm, mm. so i have a hair appointment this week i had got this curly wig from tiktok and this wig better be good so i bought this wig from tiktok it's a um it's a border wave. When I wear it, I'll put the company information and everything. I'm not being sponsored by them, but just in case y'all like the wig on me. It's a curly wig. It is 30 inches. So I'm about to go drop it off to my stylist house to get it. Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. My creators, my beautiful creators. Sorry if I'm looking a little ashy, but, um, and I don't even know where I left off with in this vlog, but, um, the last time I was talking to y'all, I believe my camera died and I was just over it. What what uh Santana do? I was over it, honey. Um I did have an additional battery, but that was dying too. I need to get a new um charging port for my my uh car because I was charging my this 
camera in my car but the port wasn't working so anyway um i know y'all like girl why what, what's going on like so i <laughs> am getting ready for my birthday trip i know y'all are sick and tired of hearing me say this right <laughs> but it's true i'm getting ready for my birthday trip but in the midst of me getting ready i found out that my passport expires in april of 2024 and to be able to travel abroad your for emergency purposes only your passport has to be valid for six months and next month i'm traveling in march so that means my passport will only be valid for one month so i was ineligible to travel abroad with my one month as having passports <laughs> but <laughs> i'm currently on my way to philadelphia um it's super early in the morning it's not that early but um i'm on my way to philadelphia right now um to the passport agency to renew my passport and when i tell y'all this process hasn't been easy <laughs> And then to add insult to injury, they give you an appointment 14 days within your traveling time. Like your tra like why? So I could have been did this. Like in case y'all are wondering, like, well, why you wait to the last minute? I had no choice. I had no choice but to wait to the last minute because they only honor your appointment, or you can only get an appointment if you're my bad if I keep looking down, y'all. I'm looking at my GPS. They only honor your appointment at the passport agency or you can only get an appointment if you are traveling within 14 business days of your appointment. So I'm traveling Friday. Today is Monday. I couldn't get an appointment until today, which is the 26th. What's today? I don't I don't want to lie to y'all. Hold on. Yeah, today is the 26th. Um, I'm traveling the first. Today, I mean, this month is a leap year, so we got 29 calendar days. So, yeah, y'all do the math. So, um, it was really nothing that I could do to um, do this appointment earlier. So, it, it's just it's just been a, a whole entire headache. Which way do I go? Cars? I want to take buses. I'm about to get on the turnpike, but um, yeah, um, it's it's just been a headache. Like it's been it's been a headache for me. So hopefully they're able to print my passport the same day. So, but I've been reading online that you gotta like if you got an appointment, my appointment is at 8 a.m. in the morning. So your passport would be printed by 2 p.m. <sighs> Hopefully so, because I have to drive all the way back from Philly back to Wayne. Oh, I got to cut that out. Hopefully it'll be ready because I got to drive all the way back to Philly, back to Jersey to go back to work. And I know y'all like, well, why did you get an appointment in Philadelphia? It was the only one available um, that was furthest away from my travel date. So New York, which is what I'm closer to, they had an appointment on March 1st. That's not gonna do me no good because I leave March 1st. You get what I'm saying? So, I don't know. It, it's just, it's just been a headache. It's just been a headache, but hopefully everything goes smoothly. I'm praying it does because I'm nowhere near home. It's not like I could just hop and skip and go back home and get any missing documents that I don't have or any surprise, anything. Like, I literally read the paperwork a thousand times, a thousand times. So, I'm just hoping that everything goes seamless. And for the first time, y'all wanna know something? Give it up, oh shit. Give it up for me, give it up for me. I'm gonna be on time like when I tell y'all I'm not playing I'm not playing I have I had like 
no passport no travel okay and i'm not traveling by myself i have some beautiful amazing spirits and souls and just beautiful people coming along with me for my birthday trip like i asked them to put their lives on hold so that i can celebrate my birthday abroad which is not cheap you know what i'm saying so i definitely appreciate y'all if y'all see this y'all already know y'all probably will see this because this vlog is going to be up this week um so yeah that's that let me get going let me get off the phone with y'all so i could listen to music then back eat my food well not food i got like a smoothie here and i got a banana um i gotta get my what is it magnet potassium in <laughs> so i'm gonna update y'all when i get there i don't know if i can bring y'all in the passport office i'm gonna try to so yeah when i get there i'll holla for y'all So, I made it in. Well, I'm walking to the building now, so wish me luck. So, I'm gonna say this without trying to be loud. I came here with my passport pictures, and they did not accept my passport pictures. So, it's me and like six other people whose pictures that they did not accept. And we went to like certified passport printing places and they still did not accept the picture. They said my picture was crooked. But then they said that this other girl. Okay. I gotta go. Bye, y'all. Actually, I got uh, Ali socks. I had them, but I would, you know, I was sick, so. But I'm in Philadelphia right now. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, well, I'm, I had to come down here to get my passport because my passport expired. Yeah, I had to do the one day thing. Yeah, I, it expires next month, but they were saying I can't travel, um, you know, with the, without it. I need like six months. Hey, y'all. So, that experience was a little iffy because... Um, in the last clip before this one, I was recording and I didn't think to put two and two together. I can't record in a courthouse. It's technically a courthouse, so I kind of got in trouble for recording. Um, but I'm out. I, I, I don't have my passport now. I repeat, I don't have my passport, okay? So I have to come all the way out here again tomorrow to pick up my passport, which is, which is okay, like whatever as long as i have it before my traveling date that's all i care about but um it was a little iffy because iffy because they didn't accept my passport pictures like ah uh, i was so like i don't I, I just needed this this uh process to go through without a hitch so as soon as i got up in there she was like you got your application i'm like yeah she was like you got your pictures i'm like yeah and she was like well let me see your pictures i was like okay girl she looked at my picture and was like we cannot accept these i was like wait now i'm gonna show y'all the difference between the pictures i paid for at is it focusing I don't know why it's not focusing. But the picture I took at Staples compared to their picture. Why is it not focusing, child? Maybe if I hold it still. I don't know. But y'all can see it's, it's two different pictures. 
they said that this picture isn't bright enough, so they basically changed my. They gave me a. They bleached me. They bleached me. Ch anyway, I was happy that they had a photographer on site. Cause when I tell y'all, I was going to find the nearest Staples out here in Philadelphia. Yeah, yeah. So um, yeah, they they took my picture on site, but um. Let me head back to Jiznayi so I could get some sleep. Zayi, that ain't even sound right. So I could get some sleep. And, um, yeah, I'm just happy I will have my passport in hand tomorrow. I, 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 I would rather have it today, but. Beggars can't be choosers, okay? And yeah, I, I think I'm just excited. Like, I am excited. I, I just wish I had it today, but no fret. The ride wasn't that bad. I gotta come tomorrow, pick up my passport, and that's that. Let me get going. And I don't know. I think this is gonna be the end of the vlog pretty much um yeah i think this is the end of it so thank you guys for watching if you are not subscribed please subscribe girl don't be interrupting me when i'm talking to my creators okay but yes if you are not subscribed to my channel make sure y'all subscribe to my channel and i will definitely love to have you guys over here because it's cute you know what i'm saying like you know <laughs> So yeah, please like and subscribe and I will see y'all in the next video. Hopefully that next video is somewhere <laughs> for my what? <laughs> my birthday! That was so annoying. If you are subscribed to me, like, I really would, you know, I would care, but don't, don't be mean. But yeah, I'll see y'all in the next video. Love y'all, bye. Good morning, my creators. So it is day two of me trying to get my passport we're well, not trying to thank you have a good one um not trying to but um i'm on my way to pick up my passport um yesterday i thought i was gonna leave philly with my passport in hand but that was not the case so i gotta drive back there i just got some gas and um I am on my way back to Philly to pick up my passport so that I'm able to travel. So yeah, this has been a day two process. Crazy, crazy, crazy. So yeah, I'm gonna talk to y'all in a minute. Deuces.